Hey y'all, I am out at One Source Trucks in Burkeville, Virginia, just a little south of Richmond, Virginia, for y'all who have never heard of our sleep little town. And I'm gonna do a demo video on a box truck that I have in inventory. And y'all, I'm going a little crazy today. I am doing this by myself, which I almost never do. And I don't even have my, uh, my truck up in the pretty position with a nice pretty background. Um, but it is 65 degrees in the winter, so I am taking advantage of, uh, of what nature has provided and I'm just gonna make it work. So bear with me um, if this is a little bit outside of the usual video that I do, it's because I'm doing it by myself. All right, y'all, you know how everyone talks about wanting to find a unicorn? Well, perhaps this is it. This is a 1998 7.3 diesel, yes, proof. 34,000 miles. Yes, Carfax confirms. I'll have screenshots of the Carfax available on um, on the website. Um, 14 foot box truck. Uh, again, I'm doing this by myself, so please bear with. Um, large lift gate on the back. There are some dusty footprints on there. I am sorry, but I was not gonna not get this uh, video today. Uh, you might hear the radio playing in the background. I will turn that off when I get into the cab, but the radio works. As you can see, really good condition box. You've got some tie straps, metal floor, which is a nice upgrade, and a cab pass-through. Large lift gate. Easy, uh, easy toggle switch control, which again, I'm doing this by myself, y'all, so... Um, so you can see I just let it down um, the lift is rated at 1250 some information there and it looks like the lift and the box both are uh, American commercial so you might be wondering how in the world does a 1998 box truck only have 34,000 miles? And the answer is easy. It was owned by a local, very prestigious, very well endowed um, private college, university. You might even be able to see on the box where it came from. I'm not technically supposed to tell you who the previous owner was, but um, you just may not be able to help but see. It has lived here in Richmond, Virginia its whole life. And from what I understand, sat inside a lot of the time. So, and I believe it, based on the condition. All right, now, we have not cleaned under the hood. I am sorry, it is dirty, but it is a true 7.3 turbo diesel. I'm gonna let this down. We have driven this truck several hundred miles and it has performed just flawlessly perfect everything on the truck that we have tested works just like it should it drives out nice and strong now we did a few things let me turn it off so you can hear me better i'm gonna turn the radio off too. well i'll show you this first so look at those seats I mean, I've seen trucks that are less than a year old more wear on the seat. Let me turn the... Sorry, y'all. Okay. Told you the radio worked. Um, so here are your gauges. Everything completely within normal range. You have a cargo light switch. You have your lift gate shut off, which is nice. Um, your little center console area. There's actually an old school ashtray, but it doesn't look like it's ever been used. That's just like a little slot you can put stuff. Again, passenger seat, just in super good condition. It needs a cover on the um, seatbelt thing. I think we were trying to order one of those. All right, I'm gonna go and shut her down. So you don't have to listen to me over the ugh, 
purr of the diesel engine. Um, even the roof of this thing. Like the headliner's not falling down, nothing. I mean, holy smokes, y'all. True, legit, 1998, 34,000 miles, 7.3 diesel. Tires are a little muddy. Ordinarily, I wouldn't do that. Um, we did paint the, we did paint the wheels. Um, we did paint this lower section of the frame, not because it was, um, rusted or anything. Like there were some cross rails that you can see are just dusty. Um, we just did it to make it look good. I mean, a 34,000 mile, um, little unit just seemed like a good idea. Let's see if I can get in and show you some of this undercarriage. Again, dirty. Okay. Sorry. We have not done anything to clean up underneath the subframe. You can see there's no real like leaks or drips or anything like that. I'm gonna get up under here and see if I can show you up underneath the cab a little better. Again, a little lot dirt on it, y'all, but come on. Look at that. 1998 up underneath the floor. Sorry, it's gonna it's gonna flip. There's no other way for me to do that because I can't get so far up under this thing by myself. Look at that. 1998, y'all. 34,000 miles. So Super good condition, 14 foot box truck. The inside of the box measures out at um, about seven and a half feet. I have, I've got a measurement on this lift gate. It's big. This lift gate is oversized for sure. Um, I'll have to get the measurements and put that on there for you. But again, tomorrow is supposed to be gross weather. Every day for the rest of the week is supposed to be gross weather. And I was like, I've got to get a video of this just ridiculously unique one in a million if you're looking for a 7.3 here she is 34,000 miles that mileage is in play with the one owner carfax that you know shows the miles just ticking along um we did paint the wheels we painted the front bumper we painted the rear um, platform for the lift gate and we had to paint the doors because when they took the decals off, they scratched them up real bad. But the fender, that's original 1998. I mean, you can see there's a little, there's a little scuffy. Um, but that's an original 1998 paint job. From what I know, we, have, we didn't do anything to the hood. Hope you can see that. Um, we didn't do anything to this fender. I mean, you can see my reflection, y'all. That's, that's just how this came into me. So, want to use it as a box truck? Cool. Need a mechanic service truck? Yes. Want to do some sort of cool retail? Absolutely. Want to wrap it up and do something with it that's like a delivery type of service? Yes. I've even seen people make different types of like animal haulers or little um, like RV types of things and, and different stuff. I mean, so there's so many applications, but... What makes this one really special is a 34,000 mile 7.3 turbo. And yes, it is a turbo, we confirmed. So, little scuffy on the fin on the front fender I showed you. A little scuffy on the other side of the box that doesn't go all the way through, it's just the paint scuff. The phone number and email address, I'm sorry, website, <laughs> uh, 804. 928-9099 uh, carnetcars.com I'm going to be putting up a full ad for this beautiful little unit um, we have had some inclement weather recently and it's been raining pretty good hence the mud on the tires um, and I haven't noticed any um, any sort of wetness in the box either so good straight forward clean 14 foot box truck under CDL automatic transmission all of the information that you're going to want to know about this is going to be in the ad and if it's not then just uh call or text me i'm happy to uh to get any information that you might have or want or need for this little unit so thanks for checking us out again that's carnetcars.com